Hello everybody and welcome to the tie of the round. We've got Elliot versus Ducky. Oh my god, he just kicked it straight to the vampire. Now, I was caught out by this game because they've started a couple of minutes before time. But the thing is, Ducky has 16 players and he could have sacked a Wrestle Thrall to get a wizard. And I thought he definitely would have done, so I was waiting for him to do that. <laughs> but he didn't, he's just gone with a bribe instead. And he's, we started with a failed bloodlust. And a bite. And with me in the booth is Flicky Flack and Muppet Pac-Man. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, this is such a good game, this isn't it? Elliot's team is amazing. And obviously a great coach. And then we've got Ducky with his amazing vampires. Yes, yeah. I mean, these are absolutely two of the best coaches and two of the best teams in the competition. This could well have been the final. I mean, you just got to look at Elliot's Dark Elves here. It's insane. He's got two move-ups, two... Add jumps, five guard. Is it five guard? Yeah, five guard. Nice. Yeah, it's a very nice dark elf team. <sighs> it's it's unbelievable. And then by the same token, the vamps are unbelievable as well. With with you know they're both like about two thousand TV. Oh, there's the ducky foul. This is why he didn't care about the wizard. <laughs> he's straight in. <laughs> with yeah, a guard, he's uh, just he's gonna foul, foul him off the planet. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know he's got he's got a move up and out two add ups a move up. Um, not that's not that many stats, is it? A couple of doubles on the uh, on the thralls, but actually his team looks rather pedestrian after looking at Elliot's first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we looked at the, uh, the we looked at the vampire team. And we're like, this looks amazing, but then yeah, after looking at the the dark elves, it doesn't look quite as amazing. So sixteen players. What they are missing is a mighty blow, though. No mighty blow. Yeah, the the elves. Yeah, um, he may they have got taken all the guard it in, instead, didn't they? Yeah, he, he could have taken it on this witch elf, but I guess it was late in the run, so he just took jugs to to double his block. Yeah. Um, I think if he was going to play more games, he might have gone mighty blow and then block. Yes. Also helps with one turns if they had stand firm. It does. It does. To be fair. Yeah. I think that's exactly what happened to um, Dio last season or the season before. He got a uh, double on a witch, and instead of parking the team, he tried to play more, and they got absolutely destroyed. So, <laughs> good decision, I think, to sit. Uh, there you go. I mean, it, uh, yeah, like the thing is, the jugs isn't without use, is it? So it, it is kind of mm. good that it it half finishes a half finishes because you'd still like defend, like you'd still like block, obviously. To uh... yeah. It's good for surfing, it, like, it's, like Muppet said, it's good for the one turns. Yeah. Especially with Frenzy. Whether it's worth a double, probably not mm. by itself. Block is probably just better, to be fair, yeah. or wrestle. But, hey. but with the rest of the team as well, you're, like, you're pretty high TV anyway. Like, yeah. But I still just think it's worse than wrestle or block. <laughs> I just think it's genuinely yeah. worse. And it's not a very Elliot pick. I could see PTK taking that, but uh, but Elliot tends to be a bit safer. Yeah, I think that's a bit. It's a bit shit, honestly. I think you either skip it, just go wrestle and park, or you or you go mighty blow and and play till you get block. Because you know maybe he, he took advice from Cave Oak and uh, <laughs> this is what happens. Maybe because even if you got block and juggernaut, I'd rather have block and sidestep. But you know. Who knows? So he's trying to outguard him here on the uh, front line. Yeah, it's risky, isn't it? I mean, it, it, this is very risky. He's it, it, quite sticky with obviously the guard and the side, the blood step. Um, and you know, if he makes Ducky activate his vampires every turn, even with all the pros and everything, um, he, you know, he could see some bloodlusts and get himself into trouble. But. Ducky is strength four, so he doesn't care that much. Yep. <laughs> K Fog does like it, yeah. <laughs> oh. The, he the pro the works. Oh, well, no, he worked the pro works, but he fails the bloodlust again. Amazing. I feel like that happens more times than I can count. Like, you still fail something. <laughs> it could be bugged, we'll never know. <laughs> you wouldn't think it would be be able to be bugged like that if a, if it was made by a competent studio, but... 
the one thing we know is that it's not made by a confident studio. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hello, Skurum. And hello, uh, hello, everybody else <laughs> in Arian. If you know this, if you haven't said hello to him, he's just going to get the score early here, looks like it, putting in a reroll for that pass. Um, uh, he wants to be on defense, his vampires. So. Now he's got no reroll for the GFI, well, he's got pro. He's got a pro reroll for the GFI. I, I guess he's just, just in the corner. Yeah, yeah he can I'll just, just stand the there. Corner. No one can reach him. Nope. Nope, no. Ducky does not give a shit. See not yeah. Artemis. He's in. <laughs> I can't bloody believe it. <laughs> what an absolute shit to scoring on turn two. <laughs> I mean, he has rolled a few ones already, but this is going to be a wild one. And that was wild. I guess he just really wanted to be on, on defense with eight turns. But the, the problem with this for Vamps is, like against elves, elves are better elves than Vamps are, aren't they? Um, they're yes. faster. They've got more edge. Like, okay, he's got six edge up guys, but they've got 11 edge up guys. Um, and they're marginally faster. A couple of movement eight, quite a few move seven, so they're a bit faster. Uh, you know, elves are elfier than vamps, so you know he, if he gets into a an elf off here, like I wouldn't mind going for that, but I don't think Elliot will. I think Elliot will drive the two on grind now. <laughs> yeah. I guess plus plus edge um, dump off on that runner means he's not as scared of the um, the gears and and sack as long as he can keep a receiver somewhere around him. Yeah, I mean elves in general aren't like the the, the main strength of vamps is tearing apart like bash teams, isn't it? The the struggle with agility and yeah. the, you know they've got to turtle up and protect the ball and they just get their cage torn to shreds by vampires. Yeah, and they true. feel bad. Whereas elves can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah, especially elves with five guard. They're uh, pretty hard to to get in. Yeah, it might be fun just to go for the fast score though and uh, see how many touchdowns we can get in this game. Yeah, I, I don't hate. I don't hate going for the trading touchdowns because like the vamp, like you can do it as elves, yeah. and and if you trade touchdowns, the, you know they're like that. that those rolls there, Ducky had to roll for bloodless and everything. You know, like he hasn't got yeah, that many rolls. You've got more skill rerolls and stuff as elves. I mean, not really these elves, but if you were high elves or wood elves or pro elves, you would definitely have more skill rerolls. Yeah, and as Bezza says, vamps really don't want to be an offense as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. You would pick Dio as this, this is your best player, would you? <laughs> so nest. Uh, how's the best coach on PC doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is all. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how do, how how Elliot approaches this because he is. Generally, a conservative player, isn't he? Um, despite he's, his rowdy emotes yeah. and his love of saying <laughs> rowdy, he's not actually that rowdy <laughs> in practice. And you, you can't really go for the removals because Ducky's got 16 men, so. Him. Yes, a Ducky can go for the removals because he's got this bribe and a dirty player. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, that's the thing, Satterfield. I would, I would, I wouldn't have gone for the. I would have gone for the wizard because a bribe for me would have uh, been a double one into a one on the bribe. <laughs> but for Ducky, Ducky has different <laughs> has different fouling to me. <laughs> so yeah, in that world, um, the uh, the bribe gets a lot more attractive, doesn't it? Yeah, can't really tell Ducky off for being Ducky. No. And he has got 13 players, like, you know, Elliot's got 13 players, but the the bribe can still have an impact, can it? Like, Fowling can... Uh... I mean, it's already close, it's already got one off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some guy, one, one, three. 
I, I don't hate going for the nine. I'm not saying like you should or anything, but it's it's an option elves have got that bash teams don't. Bash teams have to just play like an ordinary team, like you know, like they always do, but kind of you know struggle more to defend the ball because there's these vampires that can go anywhere and do anything. So it's just a nightmare for bash teams. Whereas elves have got l loads of options when it comes to defending the ball, moving the ball around, scoring whenever they want, all sorts of things they can do. Looks like you were right, Jim. He is uh, not going too far up. He's just like a quick score here. Yeah, yeah. He can keep. I mean, he could still be going for a quick score, um, like because they could just move it around anyway, can't they? Like that's the thing. But it, he he's got the option. Being else, he can keep it out of range, can't he? And then if be, if this guy if this elf had been one square forward, he'd be in scoring range, and he could have just scored it too. But I mean, maybe he gets blitzed and sidestep forward. He could, yeah. <laughs> he could. He, he may well smash the blood step. That seems to me to be a a, a nice thing to do. He stood out there yeah, in front. He's plus move as well. It's a very very nice target for tackle mighty blow, isn't it? Yep. But he's not Ooh. doing it. No. Help! I think he's trying to help his uh, force so he can maybe get some fouls in later. Yeah, it's going to stand there for a the other ones. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So he gets to move a guy around. So that's why he did that foul. Yeah, that's nice. That makes, that gives him a nice, uh, a nice shape there. Just holds the left a little bit stronger. Yeah, he's obviously concerned about the, uh, the switch as... As one should always be. Do you stand this last fall up or do you just leave him there? He's doing a job, he's next to a vampire. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Oh, he goes for the dodge. Wow. He's got a vamp in the backfield. With tackle. So something to be wary of for Elliot. And Elliot's own tackle is either a JFI way or on the OS, so we'll probably need a dodge. Yeah, he's quite lacking tackle, isn't he, Elliot, in this game? Just just, just realise, since you said that, that is the one weakness of this Dark Elf team, is only two tackles. He's to stop rolling doubles for a guard. Yeah. <laughs> and stats. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Purple Chest. Hello, Brown Meister. Hello, Odon. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, the deep sack is oh. incredible. Oh, huge. Oh, of Jimmy is dead. Of course it's seen up Jimmy. I mean, you know, you can't afford to let that guy get hit. Instant <laughs> as an old regen. It had to be. It is, it is his worst vampire, to be fair. Yeah, but what was Ducky thinking? <laughs> there are some Naming names. Naming him Jimmy at all. Naming him Jimmy at all is bad. Exactly, yeah, there are some names that should not be and not be taken. <laughs> <laughs> How old quality grips. Oh dear. Try we have a nice line of elves here. Uh, only badly hurt, but out for the rest of the game. But yeah, it's not it's not that bad, right? You still got five vamps. Five vamps is enough. Five good vamps. Yeah, yeah, that he was the shit vamp to be fair. Didn't even have pro. No, no, it's just a rubber, just a dodge, wasn't it? Just a dodge of vamp. So really, really bare bones vamp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, that's the that's the thing. Like that's why you want six, really, isn't it? Some people only take five or four, but then you know min max a little bit. But if you only got four and you lose one, then you're down to three, which is terrible, isn't it? Um, so by going for the full six, even though he's lost one, he's still got five, and that's that's a lot. Of, Vampires to do things. How about that there, Phil? How about Bugonomics? So, yeah, Elliot just keeping the ball out of range. He can move that ball pretty much anywhere he wants, can't he? Any given turn, like with the, the edge and the move of, the, of his players. He's just definitely going to stall this half out now. Um, Ducky going for the unprotected bird. Did not work out for him. No. 
<laughs> this should be all done. Purple chest would hate it. Uh, I think I think Flicky is the typer elf. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably rustling up a spreadsheet. <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> Oh my He's god. He's trying to work out the odds of who's going to win this game. Sorry, apologies. Oh my god. Speaking of speaking of JFW Pro Wars, Elt Memes was fucking amazing. <laughs> Every day. Holy shit. We've got the fouls in. Let's go. Cool. Not even dead. Wonderful. Again, we got this threatening vampire at the back. Yeah, right up the back. Uh, Don't know. leave your back door open for these uh, vampires. <laughs> yeah, purple chest particularly is <laughs> is a fan of uh, you know just knocking on the back door a little bit, <laughs> trying to ease in there. You never know what might happen. <laughs> Spirit of rage. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar of Rage, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, PC. Love you too. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, having this vampire bix here really stops the uh, defense that Elio's been doing because he can't just put people in front. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, having him there? Well, I mean, he can he can knock knock him down. He hasn't oh, got. Yep, yeah, he hasn't got. Uh, he hasn't got sidestep though, so he can. He can pretty reliably. I mean, you can definitely push him back, but pretty reliably yeah. knock him down as well. And then, I mean, he knocked him down last turn, didn't he? He'll probably knock him down again. But if he's doing that, he's not pushing forward at all, is he? And he seems to. Elliot has to. Watch this turn timer go down. Yeah, he's got four turns left. He sees it. This is a bit of a DACA now, isn't it? This is really. Uh, it has, this is yeah. It's become a DACA. <laughs> yeah. And he's not blitzing that vampire. No. <clears throat> oh, is he going to try and dodge the wheel? No, just I mean, that, <clears throat> that does give him an extra block, but doesn't really get him anywhere. No. I think he's trying to hit the DP to uh, stop it falling. Yeah, stop the ducky fouls. Only one DP on this team, it's unducky like. Isn't it just? Very interesting. Very interesting, <coughs> this game of cat and mouse, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be fair, every, basically every player's already got dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the pal. He's actually hitting an important player this time. He might be fouling an important player as well, might I think, Yeah, I think this is getting fouled. He has got a dodge, though, with this. Uh, if he does it with yeah, to do with a dirty Yeah, four rerolls for four turns, so he's going to put the reroll into the fa into the dodge for the foul. Or I guess, or he could just, he could just, uh, he could just gaze the, uh, he could just gaze that guy as well, couldn't he? He's he Ill -Ill. could, yeah. If he wants to use another two plus bloodlust. Yeah, that's a yeah. good call. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely gonna, he's he definitely gonna gaze him for the foul. Oh, -ho -ho! oh, he gets the pro. Oh. He gets the pro. <laughs> Best skill in the game. <laughs> Can't deny it. It's certainly, it's certainly got its uses on vampires, hasn't it? Um, vampires. Beasts of Nurgle, Underworld Blitzers, you know you love it. Uh, vampires. <laughs> <laughs> just, just vampires. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a certain amount of worth on Jump Club. Claw Pong. He's dead, Jim. Oh my god, he you're a little is. bit ahead. He is, dead. What a player to lose. Instant Apple. Yeah, and he gets Apple the 50-50. He does, huge. 
Oh God, this is just ducky. This isn't it. This is fucking ducky. This is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, classic ducky. And just power boy shit. Back to his best. Yeah, ducky. Yep, yep, cheeky full pal. Oh man. I think Elliot has to look out now. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to move, hasn't he? Pretty much. Three turns left after this. He's got to think about moving. But I mean, there's a yeah, gaping hole here. He's got a lot, yeah, a huge gaping hole in the centre. <laughs> Looks like he's just hitting this vamp and trying to be more defensive back here, I guess. Is he going to hit with the witch elf? That's not the best assist square to be hitting with It's the not, witch. is it? Oh, going okay, he's going on this way. Sort of loses a, loses a square, though. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that particularly. Yeah. We could foul back, but uh, that's rowdy, and uh, we're not. We're Elliot, We're not rowdy. No, no. I, I think it's it's pretty wild, isn't it? Because the fact they've got an apple and regen, fouling fouling the vamps is pretty. Shit. Yeah, no dirty player. There's not. Is there even an unskilled elf to do it with? There is. There is just one, one behind the guard. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> on the field, one on the bench, but um, not many unskilled elves on this team. No. If an elf gets a skill, it gets guard, it's fine. Right, he's got to... What, make some sort of forward progress? Could we get that sidestepper up the pitch? No? Well, no, he's, he's got two turns still, hasn't he? But he's, he's really... Um, like, three turns, sorry. So, like, he's got two turns after next turn. So, it's, it's only next turn that he has to move. Okay, yeah. But I would have and... liked to have uh, gone up a little bit there, personally. And the cock is KO'd. What a shame. <laughs> yes, yeah, Satterfield. You can't outfoul Ducky, so why even try? <laughs> yeah. Oh, one in nine. Uh, we have rerolls to use. We have four rerolls. Why aren't we using them? Because we've got pro. Yeah, and he can reroll like a gaze. Uh, no, sorry, not a gaze. He can reroll a bloodlust, can't he, or something later in the turn. You know, like if that guy bloodlusted, he could he, he could have put the reroll in, couldn't he? Yeah. But when you've got pro, maybe maybe turn ordering. You know, maybe he could have uh, maybe he could have done the the moves that he was gonna reroll first, so that he would and have do had. the blitz last. Yeah. yeah. So he could have just used the team reroll on that. No one's fouled. Ducky's upset. Yeah. I'm protecting the dirty player. Going back a bit here. Yeah. Hello, J5. I don't understand that, J5. You're making my head hurt. I know, yeah, I don't I don't understand it either. <laughs> what? There's a giant frog there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a joke from PTK's Discord. J5 gets around, doesn't he? Yeah, he, uh, he he's does. everywhere. He has two turns after next turn, yeah. So, all right, J5. Well, it's right though, isn't it? Because the the point being, this guy, you know, has to. It takes this guy two turns to score, doesn't it? You know, so he doesn't actually have to even move this turn. So yeah, three turns. But the point oh, is, the scoring <laughs> move can take two turns. You know? Yeah, I knew what you meant, Jim. Yeah. The scoring, he wants to make a two-turn scoring manoeuvre. So, he only, you know, he's got, he wants to be in a position to set up that scoring manoeuvre on turn six. So the point is, yes, he's, he's technically got, you know, five turns on turn four, but he doesn't care about that. The only thing he cares about, the only thing he cares about is setting up this two-turn move. And he does have a lot of space on his <laughs> left to just to build a big wall. I mean, to be fair, G6, the odds are fairly high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skuro. Father Skuro. Hey, I did the right thing. I did the... It worked, Skuro. It, it worked. It just it just took six turns because I can't roll fucking dice. <laughs> it was only the dice that didn't comply. I did everything right. <laughs> the first block was double bow. And halflings who have dodge. Yeah. 
<laughs> re-rolled in a double pack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that? <laughs> right. Can we find a way in here with all these hypno, hypno gazes? Yes. Or is it even worth it? it? Whether it's worth it or not, I think, is maybe a no. But he can certainly, like, knock down people and gaze handoff targets. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays this. Yeah. I don't think he he'll bother trying for the ball. Yeah, he's got dump off as well, like, and he's plus edge. So you'd have to, like, base everyone first. Yeah. But he did get rid of the other plus edge elf, so he can't be a recover he can't catch the ball on a dump off. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. It, 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 vamps can always get a pop on the ball, can't they? Yeah, yeah like here he could have just this guy could have just run around on a GFI, hit my gazed, and then the other elf hits him. The other vamp, so I don't <laughs> think it was worth it. No. The pro has been huge at this game. It has. It's worked like almost every time. Yeah. Buff yeah. didn't get the pow, and now mm. he sidestepped into more vampires, one of which... Oh no, they both have dodge. But they don't have tackle, so they mm. can't hit him back. But they can gaze him. But, oh. but they failed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the tackle is coming back. <laughs> We just can't get a knockdown oh. on this elf, and Pro has failed. Oh my god, cannot get him. This is unducky like. Yep. That's wrong, actually, Tony. I've only got two toes on my uh, left foot. <laughs> well, toenails. Um, knowing Ari in the. the... And the ugly mangled stubs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The thousand books was in the was in the Kemri mirror, so there you go. The, the, of all the random streams, to get, <laughs> to get a thousand, one thousand one hundred books in the a best fucking game Kemri to mirror. watch in Blood Bowl is <laughs> Kemri Mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Kemri. No, it was uh, it was all on the same foot. Tony, it was easier to do. I probably need one or two taken off the other foot as well, but there you go. They're not toes, toenails. I got torn. I've got in. I have, well, I had ingrown toenails, and then two were completely removed, and then the big toe. They just cut the sides off, and now it's grown back. So I probably need that one removed as well, completely. So that's fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the pro in Blood Bowl twenty twenty is 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 a significant buff, isn't it? Right. So, but anyway, let's get back to the game here. So nobody got gazed. So no. I guess the gazes are going to happen on turn 8 with actual and team re-rolls rather than pro ones. And nobody and the got side, out. <laughs> the sidestepper got moved about five times until he's almost in scoring range. Yeah. He's also giving guard for this first hit on the foul if you want it. Yeah. Which he could chain. You and could chain him. You're scared if you don't get the power he's sort of in the way. Yeah, well, so that's a good reason to chain, isn't it? Because then, you know, you, you can uh, do things. It's interesting, isn't it? How does he break through? He'd like to break through this uh, this thrall, but you can't really unless you knock this guy down. And it's not I easy mean, to knock that guy down without putting in a guy, a guard guy here to hit him. But then if you, if you, so if you pow him, then another guy in here. And it's, it's all a bit tricky, isn't it? He does get the pow, though. Just goes straight for it, no chain. Yeah, so then he wants the guard in here to hit him. It's a shame though, because his guard is like his most forward piece, so he probably won't be upfield more. Yeah, yeah, good point. But he can get through this fall now. Yeah, yeah. so that gives him the, the, the route through to hit this guy and get through a little bit, but it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, because like Muppet just said, they've used all their, front, their forward players now. I think maybe just put a couple of receivers through and move back. You can go for the pass. Yeah, and stay roughly where you are. Maybe move a few squares forward. And again, the to hit this fall best is probably using this guard. But again, this guard is the forward piece. Yeah. Now the, now the ball's completely exposed right now. 
It's so fine. It's only a ducky it, game. But... It'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, four rerolls. The thing is, he's got the uh, he's he's got the he's got the pro right PC. So it's not as if uh, it's as not as if he hasn't played rowdy enough because he has got the. Uh, he has proed a lot. Pro. Yeah, he's proed a lot. And again, we could maybe blame turn order. Oh, we're going. Well, is he going to go for the score? Oh. It looks like he is. Yeah, and that cancels sure the assist, and so now he can blitz from that square. Yeah. Gets the panel. Yeah. Can you get away from him? No, you can't get away from him. Just, just be able to hide the corner. Oh! oh. <laughs> Maybe not double GFI. Yeah, can he just stay there? No, the movement vamp oh. can reach him on double GFI. Yeah, I don't think you stay there. Well, he does have tackles, so. It's yeah, a big on. risk, though, giving away four dice. Yeah, he, he, called, he makes the GFI and obviously yeah. unlikely to score the one turn is Ducky with only movement seven. Yeah. It'd be good if you could put all 16 players on the pitch and get the one turn. <laughs> yeah, would you? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I mean, he could score this, couldn't he? Uh, unless he puts sidestep on the LOS. He probably won't, which might mean he could do it. Oh no, straight he, he away, put... sidestep on the LOS. Okay, instantly. Brownie. One of these is getting fouled then. Like, Brownie Elliot. Yeah. yeah, but this is risky. Maybe maybe hope for a bite or a blitz, get a two turn in. Whew. I might have uh yeah, I guess blitz he could blitz he could with a blitz he could go up two one by setting up like this. But um, like you've already got your best players on the front, so uh, one of them getting fouled. This is worse than backline, isn't it? Against the one turn. Yeah. And he does have the plus movement vampire, Mr. Calcium himself. Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Um, help me, I believe. Goblins are PC's third most played team. Oh, this is really uh this is really rowdy isn't it putting these blocks to put them in the LOS all of them are fantastic players this right. tackle one's getting fouled 100% 100% if, if it gets knocked down yeah he's gonna three dice him though, I think isn't he yeah sets up for the riot <laughs> Dof, 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 dof. <laughs> P. Diddy, oh, look at Dog. Now he doesn't need yeah. the. Now he doesn't even need. So there you go, not 100% of it. <laughs> he gets to put three shitheads in the LOS now. Woo! And look at where the ball is, will he? Yeah, he will. Yeah, there's no way he can he can get the all the pushes and get him that far forward. It's not, not no, so cool. yeah, you're right. He can't. Even with a touchback, it's not happening. I guess this poor wrestle man might be getting fouled. Yep, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Ducky does also foul shitters, but I mean, he's he's yeah, he's he's definitely going to foul, isn't he? Probably not. Probably just going to foul the rookie. And not use his bribe because he's got these reserves. So I reckon we'll see a we'll see a, a rookie thrall foul and no bribe. Yeah, I think that's a good call. And if you just game off, that's all of Elliot's reserves. Yeah. Alright, well, maybe not because he might value the reserves you know, for all the time. But... Personally, I would not want to foul an absolute shithead with uh, <laughs> with my dirty player and use up my bribe when he could just. Well, he's only got the dirty player left now, unless he wins the wrestle round. Yeah, yeah. go for the blitz. Yep, so maybe he's just going to go dirty player and use the bribe. I and mean, you've got to use the bribe if your dirty player gets sent off, haven't you? That's the I problem. mean, if he doesn't use the bribe, then he might never use it. So, why not? <laughs> 
Yeah, but I mean, I would just rather have got the guy sent off and still have the bribe. Yeah, I agree. That's what I tend to do. And he's dead, Jim. He's dead. Wow. And no bribe required. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to worry about it. We just won't get sent off. Classic ducky. <laughs> Why were you even worried, Jim? Like <laughs> he could have done that with a rookie, just quietly. And this DP does have guards, so he is valuable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, don't you can? Yeah. So, but I just think then the bribe might not be. I think the bribe file might not be worth it because he's st he's guaranteed eleven for this drive, isn't he? You know. So, I would rather not foul with the dirty player. Yeah. But you definitely have to foul, because that's your game plan, once you bought the bread. Or you could just and not foul. You could you could not foul with anybody, or you could foul the rookie, or you could... Yeah, not foul with anybody, or foul the rookie. They were my two choices. I did not like fouling with the dirty player, because you're only taking away a reserve. So yeah. if you foul the dirty play, you have to commit the bribe if you get caught. And, you know, this hasn't changed the strength of his team for the second half whatsoever. So but I would rather and, definitely have the bribe available to, to foul every single turn of the second half. Yeah. And bribes do fail. Yes. Yeah. As Jim probably finds out. <laughs> yeah. It's 50% 50 better on knockouts as well in the second half. It's just so much better to save that dirty player for the second half. Yeah. And not risk it. This uh, mighty blow vampire has not been mighty blowing very well, has he? He hasn't, no. I mean, he's, he's made up with it with a, with a dirty player foul, hasn't he? Oh, he's called Demi, that's why. We found out. <laughs> Demi. <laughs> So yeah, Ducky's got to change something about this defense this half, hasn't he? Because if that plays out the same, Elliot's going to do him 2-1, isn't he? We got an extra reel for overtime. Yeah. Because we're busy using pro instead of reel, so... <laughs> And oh, also, claw is much rarer. Sorry, sorry. Ducky's got two coach assistants. Wow. I guess he's got a lot of TV. So, he, and I guess maybe he added those to be um, exactly a hundred under with the uh, scum. Right? And a double score. Oh, start with the dubs. Eat it. Just three re-rolls. That's it. That oh. is very risky, though, because <laughs> <laughs> the foul's we'll, coming. Yeah, I don't know what's coming. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because you're missing out on the armor seven hits. You're letting that um, plus add, plus move get hit by attack on mighty. I don't know about eating it. Yeah. I think you've got to back yourself to, to score in it with two re-rolls from here. It's a big decision to make in, in 15 seconds though, isn't it? Yeah, that's something that's always um, annoyed you, isn't it? That you don't get your turn time to think about your re-roll. Yeah, it's super annoying because people say, oh, you should know if you're going to re-roll. That's a 1 in 36 chance. You don't have to think for like, let's say it takes you 30 seconds to, to choose whether to re-roll that, right? Or even 40 seconds. You don't have to think for 40 seconds 36 times. <laughs> yeah. When you could just think for 40 seconds once. <laughs> yes, that, that's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for J5. He just instantly re-rolls every result ever until he's out of them. Yeah, he, he <laughs> yeah. doesn't even know what time we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Instant re-roll. Oh, who do you foul then? The edge or the, the one with more? The, I guess yeah, the one with this, more assists. This, this one, the edge one. 
Add one. He's got add and move. Yeah, he can get out of this, no problem. He doesn't care. Oh, he's going for the hypnogaze, is he? Oh, it's a GFI, no. Maybe not. And he's cast. <laughs> MNG. Oh, Marzen, you got up, you got saved, and now you're out again. A <laughs> dirty player doing the work. God. Still no bribe used is unbelievable. <laughs> it's just it's just typical Ducky, isn't it? He's made like four fouls. <laughs> four <laughs> yeah. Fouls. Exactly the other oh, one yeah. he needed. He literally <laughs> hasn't he uppered one of them. Yeah. Four He's fouls, made... four perms. No he send up. He uppered Marzen. He uppered the one that just got yeah. fouled the game. Yeah. Yes, he's made four fouls and made four casts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That's an awful lot more value than Jim gets out of uh, Brian. <laughs> Fucking right it is. Yeah. One send off for a stun, and then it maybe works. Yeah. So some more he gets for a wizard. He rolls a one on the bolt, and that's it. Ah, yeah. The, the wizard though, at least, at least makes your opponent think differently, doesn't it? That's 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 yeah. why I like the wizard. The wizard can fail but still do something, whereas the bribe. It lets you high roll potentially, and it sure has for Ducky here. So, does this change the way Elliot plays now that he's down man? I think he plays this half exactly the same way he played the first half. And yeah. It probably ends yeah, exactly the same so. way, barring, <laughs> barring, you know, Ducky doing something different or dice happening. I mean, yeah, Ducky's going to have to do something different, I think. Yeah. Try and get some more pressure on, try and get down towards the ball. <laughs> yeah, or <don't. laughs> Many a time has there been a get the ref kickoff event, and I think, oh, well, I can throw a foul in now. Instant double one into one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Jim. Sometimes you get the stun. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't even need the bribe, does he? Yeah. But no, I I think it, it's allowed him to make some fouls that he wouldn't have made without the bribe. Maybe. I mean, probably not. <laughs> but maybe. Oh. oh. So the pro works, but the bloodlust fails again. <laughs> This bloodlust is failing, god damn it. Yeah. And again, he just doesn't get him. Can't pound. Now, does he tag the wrestler to bite a bad person? No, he bites a decent person. Oh, please. Yeah, the wrestler's decent, isn't he? But that's one less assist on the foul. <laughs> yeah. Madness. Yeah. I, I think it's, yet I think again. It's, yeah, I think it's good on vamps, PC. I think it's good on vamps. But um, only really vamps. But you know, it does get better, doesn't it? In in Blood Bowl three. But don't vamps get worse as well? Vamps become unplayable in uh, yes. in Blood Bowl Three. Well, it depends who you talk to. There's several people who believe that they're going to be uh, very good with a uh, wild animal or whatever it's called, animal, animal savagery. savagery. Well, those people, Flicky, are what is known um, as fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the ducky apple on a kill. Yeah, yeah, rowdy. I think it might be wiser to have just used the reroll on that. On that, uh, I what guess this way if he stops the if he goes to overtime, he he's got kick equity. But come on, I mean he could have just used the reroll that, and then he saves his apple, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, you know when they get the vampire spike and they actually make bloodlust as a rule, then vamps might be really good. 
But with animal savagery, they're garbage. He's dead, Jim. He fucking is as well. Oh my god! Unbelievable. Are you watching ahead of us? You're watching ahead of us. No, I just click on the player to see what. I'm doing. Oh, he's a sneaky, sneaky Muppet as ever. Yeah, <laughs> never how, trust Muppet. It's how he walks twice as fast as everyone on Among Us. <laughs> and he's already done 42 <laughs> tasks when everyone else has done three. <laughs> I only did the breaker task in one turn. It's fine. Oh, dear. <laughs> this point, Elliot doesn't even want to win anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, what do you have for next game? You've lost your two blitzes. Yeah. Pretty brutal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <out> the booth. <laughs> I was right, there wasn't at the other game when there'd been like five kills and there was no sus on anyone. And I was like, right, it's Muppet. <laughs> it's got and I get voted off and then Char shouts at me for getting voted off from our sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I want to be like Ducky too. Imagine if I could fail and get removals every time. It's incredible, isn't it? It's huge, but he's still got nine players on the field, so like he's got enough elves to do it. But it's obviously getting trickier. It's getting trickier. Yeah, he's gonna leave a hypno gaze open for Ducky eventually, and Ducky's just waiting for it. Yep. Oh, there's the spike thing. So you can see that. The winner of this will face Dior. Ooh. Dior's little chaffs that could. So I guess Dior would rather chew up and spit out battered dark elves. <laughs> <laughs> I would Definitely. think so, yeah. yeah. I can't think of anyone that wants to play Ducky's Vamps, though. <laughs> No, but especially not chores. Like it's horrible for chores because they they like they just outbash you basically because they've got more strength than you. So you don't even have that as an angle. And then obviously they they could they they're coming for your balls as well. Bit of CBT. <laughs> and you can't even protect your hobgoblins because they get hit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's going to bring the pressure here. This could have been the final this game, couldn't it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I mean, rats are a nightmare for pretty much everybody, aren't they? There's no one that's really got a good matchup against rats. Like no matter how good your team is, they they they've probably got a wizard. If they, if their team's substantially worse, they've got a wizard. They've got a bench. Like an ideal an ideal Skaven team has got a bench, a claw pommer, a what natural one turner. Like there's nothing that matches up well to that, is there? The foul was not a Kaz, but it still wasn't a grab use or send off or anything. That's true, yeah. Unbelievable. A foul that wasn't a Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? He's left, this, he's left this open here. I don't know if he's done it on purpose or not. But he's dead. Uh, you know, it could be crap space, couldn't it? The old Dioism there. Um, but I mean, he's left a, He's left. Got a nice very blitz open. on as well, trying to get rid of his dirty player on the way through. Yeah. He can't get that many players up there, can he? I mean, he doesn't need to, but he can. He can. He can move around there, can't he? And, and get a bit close to the end zone. Get a nice, you know, if you can bang out this, uh, bang out this DP. And he's also movement five, which could be a factor if he's knocked down. He can't get very far. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course, KLZ, of course he has, but there's still more value to come from him if he doesn't get removed, isn't it? Oh dear. I 
think we really want this movement player moved sooner rather than later. Yeah. There we go. So you can blitz then come back. And he's stunned. We are okay, he gets a gets a turn off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we have to see if that will stop Ducky or not. Yes. Oh, I think we've got company. Turn off, Flicky. You mean like you know someone wearing furry socks in bed? <laughs> wearing oh, socks are always bad enough. I decided there's something not being said, so I'm going to come in with some controversial opinions. Okay. Um, I like Elliot. I think he's a very good coach, a really nice chap, and he's always too passive in the chalice, and he is being again. There we, you are. That's my yeah. controversial opinion. We did say at the start we would have liked some uh, touchdown trading. Yeah. It would have I think he could have been much more aggressive this half. I understood it in the first half, um, trying to hold back, trying to score on turn seven or eight, make sure it's one-one at the half, you know, controlling the clock. I thought that was all understandable. I think this half it's almost suicidal, and hence mm -hmm. he's getting outpowered. And unless he starts to come up with some better ideas fairly quickly, I think he's going to get overrun. Yeah. It didn't help the uh, double scores at the start of the turn, to be fair. No, yeah, that, that seeded all initiative, didn't it? Which has made him. Yeah. But that's made you, it hard for him to go on the offense. You've set the ground for that by not being more aggressive earlier as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we grab the pitchforks on Elliot? <laughs> oh no, we absolutely shouldn't. I mean, I, I think he's a lovely guy, lovely coach, brilliant at, at interacting with chat as he coaches. I mean, a real object lesson in good streaming. Uh, but I also think he's. I mean, I, I like the Elliot Rowdy thing. I don't think he's quite as rowdy as some people think normally. But he's certainly a lot rowdier in CCL than I've ever seen him play at the Chalice, where I just feel he always seems to slightly play within himself. Mm. Interesting. So we do get a hit on the ball? The you think, you're, you're, you're putting the cart before the horse there. If you're not being aggressive, if you're not creating those problems, you create the opportunities for Ducky to isolate pieces and foul them out. Whereas if he's having to yeah. solve other problems, if he's having to worry about where the ball's going and what mm. you're attacking, there's less chance for him to just foul you down and push you backwards like this. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really good point. Yeah, that's kind of like the way to play I'm against victorious. chaos, isn't it? Is, uh, and I will you know, if you're harassing their balls defend. and making them think about the balls all the time, they can't just tee off on you with claw palm, isn't it? And it's, yeah, it's the same kind of idea. I think, Here? I think Absolutely here with a counterpoint. Yeah, I'm actually I am actually here because there's something else that's being unsaid about the character of people participating in this. I just okay. wanted to uh, remind everyone that Elt Meme, complete and utter shitter. He's going to lose his job Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC to Gorilla Mezzo in the ring. I'm coming for him at WrestleMania. I'm going to beat the living shit out of him, and he's going to be... Uh, in the back of the back of the unemployment line, and that's all I got to say about that, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Gorilla Mezzo. Always worth mentioning the glorious JFW. Their, uh, their special that kicks off this weekend. And we're going to see the yeah. end of Gorilla's career potentially, and then a permanent out meme in the booth. Flicky, just have a think about that. Gorilla versus Seagull. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's not like Shark versus Tiger, where we'd all be genuinely interested. There it is, look. <laughs> the only question to me is, after he rips his head off, does he eat the seagull or just throw it contemptuously to one side? That's... <laughs> oh, dear. Ducky picked up the ball in the middle of all that. Thank you. Thank you, Scoop. <laughs> in the middle of all that. Yeah. Um... Ducky was like, I've got plus movement, I've got edge four, I've got dodge, I can go get that ball. Oh yeah, god, Elliot's one did. dicing into He's an uphill. Oh, what the, what the what fuck, fuck is he doing? Strip ball does a thing, but you get What the fuck is he doing? He had two pluses yes, away. Ducky controls where the strip ball goes to and now it's red dice. Yeah. I mean, that was just that was wrong with on a wrong thing, and I think it's a panic response to the situation. Yeah. It's yeah. very panicky. Oh, rip, Elliot. I yeah, but there was me. many of them, Elp. You're going to be all on your own in a big empty ring with a gorilla chasing you. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, we saw the skills on offer when Gorilla last stepped in the ring. <laughs> it was an unforgettable performance. <laughs> it was. Him and Jimmy Ventura going at it. <laughs> we had no it's idea who was going to win that one. Right, so this is this is score, isn't it? We just we probably hit some things first for fun, and then we just score as Ducky, don't we? Uh, Can we defend it at all? For I don't know. Store? I don't know. Have a look at Beard Cam. I don't know. I quite like picking it up and running back into the cage. Yeah, I like Ooh. running back. I don't want to score now and give the elves. Yeah, there's a full-on beard stroke happening. <laughs> I like running back here. I actually like putting the, the, the side stepper so you can bang him out. He's going to tackle it. Or supposed to tackle on the witch elf? I think he's just going to score, isn't he? Really? It does look like he's scoring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I, I would have liked to have. Cause I, I don't feel like hitting him lets you stall, even if you cas him, you know? Whereas I think if you blitz the sidestepper and you remove him, then maybe you can go back into that little pocket and stall. Or some you can get a foul with. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, I, mean, it, I, I can put an opposite case, which is that vampires do just fall apart some turns. Um, yeah. And perhaps you take the advantage while you've got it. Yeah. Is a good point. Um, but no, I, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't hate the idea of, of dropping back into a cage that he'd built, but he just didn't seem to display any desire to do it, did he? Yeah, I, I really like that we, because Elio can score in three. Wanted. Now he's got to play Rowdy, hasn't he? You know, now yeah. he's got yeah. to play Rowdy. Yeah. So now the pressure's on, and we're going to see hopefully three really interesting turns now. Mm. Yeah. Even if you only store for one turn, you've just given two turns to panic and. Yes. Yeah, so Johnny Fair points out he now has two turns plus one to counter score. <laughs> Glad we've got Johnny here. Without him, we'd be lost. I knew what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, seeing as we've got a stacked booth now, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. So, be right back. <laughs> oh, I tried to resist, but they dragged me back in. Oh, here we go. Now we can get Jim banned. He's not even here to uh, to mute us. Yeah, Elliot is very, very good with vamps. He did a cracking vamp run. He knows exactly what vamps are capable of. But it, um, that, I mean, he, Elliot also... is a very good coach. You know, one I, I admire and a great streamer. I don't just think he's a good streamer. He's a very good Blood Bowl coach. I just, every time I see him in the chalice, I think, but Elliot, you're, you're slightly better than this. Why aren't I seeing a bit more from you? I think that might be another thing, though. Like, he knows what vamps can do and he's scared. Mm. Yeah, they absolutely are, Kizzy. Um, yeah, very, very good quality coaches. It's, it's a bit a cracking game. I just... I do think maybe, yeah, we could have seen some slight more rowdiness from Elliot. Or a slightly more aggressive offence in the second half. As I said, I thought the first half I understood what he was doing. Yeah, there was two options there. Either score fast or do what Elliot did and get the uh, turn seven. Yeah, control score. the clock, make sure it's 1-1 at the half. And I, th I thought that was fine. And I liked the surprise score on seven rather than, you know, putting all your eggs in the one basket of turn eight. And I loved the one in six that he pushed on and scored when it would have been, you know, a lot of people would have gone, oh, I can't do it without a reroll. And then lost the ball to that, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you risk the one in six and, you know, everyone laughing ha 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 because your go for it failed? Or do you give them a. You know, perhaps a 50% chance at the stack of the sack. Well, you raw odds, so you take the risk. And it's not like he had uh, any other players up here to pick up the ball if he did. No, no, if it went that... down, it was all over, wasn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah, you're absolutely right, PC. It's an area of my of the of blood ball that I'm that I need to work on. Um, Ducky, obviously, uh, an Ducky and Elliot, you wouldn't expect them to make that kind of mistake where you. Um, no, you, you don't take the the score when the when the counter the counter sack is far more likely. I mean, I I think the pause was that he just briefly looked at it, looked at the maths. Is there any recovery option if he knocks me down? And he decided it was much better to take that risk. Yeah. So now we have to choose which blood stepper to blitz. 
I think the person that would really like eight more turns of this is uh, is Dio. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. As Dio, you definitely want the Dark Elves to win, don't you? Yeah, I think these vampires will be horrible for uh, for Chorves. Again, we just used a pro profail. Yeah, six rerolls. It's a lot of equity, isn't it? It certainly is, considering might not get there. I think that might have been a normal reroll. Maybe not. Well, I mean, Ducky's only got two possibilities, isn't he? It's either going to overtime or he's won. Yeah. So at the moment, it's six two for rerolls for overtime. So I can understand him thinking, well, then I don't even need the ball in overtime. Yeah. If it's yeah, fair enough. at the end of overtime, I've won. And your vampires on defense, you're still happy. Yeah. Yeah. And if and he gets the ball in overtime, he scores quick. And if he's on defense, then, you know, Elliot's going to have to come up with a more aggressive plan than we've seen so far. Yeah, and the elves are taking some serious punishment now. Six rerolls now. <laughs> Even failed and, and still one bribe. Incredible. He's collected them, Jim. He's got a reroll collection. They're all special to him. <laughs> they all have names. They uh, all have personalities. He can't lose them. Do you score and go for the? Uh, you know, hope you can defend. How are you scoring? Uh, by passing it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> They're both hypnogazed, so... It doesn't matter, you, you, that's why you pass it to somebody. You hand off to the, uh, hand hand off off the witch elf, and then the witch elf passes it to someone in the end zone. Yeah, okay. Wouldn't yeah, be hard, would You would have to double do GFI with the ball. Yeah, I didn't, you know, he could do it though, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I mean, looking at how Elliot tried to clock control the first half, I don't think there's any chance of it. I don't think he wants to give Ducky two, so I no. think he's going to try and score on, uh, on 16. I think it will too, but but no, I mean I didn't I didn't hate it, Jim. Um, no, vampires aren't as good on offense as defense. It's it's the area they struggle with, mm. which is probably why we saw Ducky bang in the very very quick one at the start of the game. Yeah, it is very Ducky like. Which I missed. I just came in as it scored. Did we have a, a rule of five allowing him free access to the wings or something else that I would have hated? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's got the guys down, so it's all right as long as he makes his dodges, and he's got yeah. two two scoring threats. He can he can engineer something next turn, can't he? Yeah. The only thing I remember from turn one was the foul that killed him. <laughs> but that was also every turn, so. Uh... Yeah. So he's got he's got like three guys he can hand off to. Um, or he could just launch it, couldn't he, with Ash five? And he's got three scoring threats, of which yep. are currently they can all be banged out. But he can dodge with two of them. I didn't like basing here. Because it's just easy to bang around if you get lucky. And unless you stun or better the witch, uh, very hard to stop her getting into the end zone. Yeah, I'm trying to work out if he's going to whip. Oh, he's already whipped, so we're just dodging out then? Yeah, I just don't like that, that base there. It just seems a bit. I guess it's tackle on dodge. On one of the more gazy um, vamps, but. Yeah. I mean, if the plan is, oof, I'll just make sure I have options in turn 8 and solve it then. Well, yeah, basing doesn't seem like a good way to make that happen, does it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. That it gives, gives you less options. Yeah, yeah, it gives him a chance to... Uh... That's why I wondered if he was going to bend that run round and then actually attack this vamp. But um... And the, the witch has wrestled, so we can even take them both down. And uh, maybe foul it or something. Yeah. Oh. Right. The vampire sea nuts. What are they gonna do? <laughs> this guy hasn't got tackle, so he could three two 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 to uh, base the ball, couldn't he? It doesn't do a lot though with edge five. 
Another thing is... Who's got a tackle? All of Elliot's players on the left now, and his balls on the right. We could just put a wall of vampires and get an intercept. I mean, I, I would certainly be marking that ball, Jim. You say it doesn't do much, but because he's put it right out on the sideline to avoid any blitz chances, either you've got to uh, do three two-pluses to leap out forwards, yeah, or you've got to lose some movement and dodge out backwards. And either way, with a long passing play or a handoff play, that's that's problematic. I wouldn't prioritise yeah. it. But if everything else worked, it would be the final thing I did. Yeah, for sure, yeah, end of the turn. Because just anything that adds any complexity to a, a, you know, what will be quite a long dice chain of complex things, um, is good, isn't it? Yeah, I, and I didn't like him putting there because he, you know, putting him in, on the end, on like the uh, just one square away from the end zone because he doesn't have the space to to like move around as much, does he? I didn't like. That. And we have stunned oh. the witch. We don't care yeah, about that. Was the witch. Witch is down. Although, interestingly, not with the piece she'd based, so that that risk paid off, if you like. Yep. And he still blitzed it. This is... So, we've got to get one of these Hypno guys into the end zone, and then do a handoff and pass. At the moment, that looks sort of... Quite simple. I mean, yeah, hand, it does hand look, to the witch, terrible, the witch it? run forwards and passes, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. So Ducky's presumably got a plan to make that more complex, and which I seems to be isolate all of these dark elves so none of them can get in the end zone. No. Um, Ooh, and no, I don't like that because no, they've like... got HE4. Yep. Oh, we're and I didn't okay, like... so he's hit, he's marking the witch instead. Well, I don't like that because you can just hand off to this Lionel, can't you? Who's yeah. exactly yep. the same model. Yeah, same forward. thing. Yep. Mm. Yeah, which just no, activates. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's, it's no, it's no different, is it? I much so prefer marking that AG five plus, plus yeah. at the top. Yeah, yeah. that square, Jim. Exactly. Yeah. That one just diagonally upright of where the ball is would have been a beautiful yeah. square to get to. And he's got the six re rolls. He could certainly have taken that risk this turn. We are red dice. Oh, what the fuck is Elliot? <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he just gone mental? Has he had all the problem? I don't I, like that when you've got like you know you've got okay this is, yeah this is what, a seventy five percent dodge isn't it or, or you could or you could go the three plus dodges but at the end of the day you've got skill rolls for them haven't you and you're yeah. gonna have to do this handoff and pass and everything without skill rolls. Got to I mean you could have done the first one and if it popped then you could have blitzed and yeah. then it was a one d blitz. Yeah. Or at least get the ball to this guy. Did a handoff first because there was mm. no re roll to cover that now. Yep. Yeah. See three there plus pass without a re roll. Don't like yeah. that. I think that's that the was, ducky win. That was deserved, I'm afraid. That's another example, I think, of Elliot. I, I'm not sure we'd see him do that in the CCL. And he didn't He didn't think very long about it before he threw the red dice, did he? No, he no. just did it instantly. It was like, right. I mean, to, be, to be fair, he only needed a push, and that is reasonably decent odds. Mm -hmm. But still do the handoff first. Because that's a one in six fail right there. Yeah. Yeah, you've and got enough, you've got the reroll, haven't you? Like, yeah. Because as Jim says, you've got inbuilt skill rerolls. Um, and, and as Flicky said, if you do the dodge first and use dodge, you can do the one dice, which is still yeah. better than the red dice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Okay. Yeah, if you pop dodge, you do the one D. If you don't pop dodge, you do the next two dodges. Yeah. yeah. And as you weren't using your blitz elsewhere, it doesn't matter if you've wasted the blitz and not ended up using it. It's, it's all, it all have been fine. I mean, you know, like PC said, we don't want to bash. Yeah. Um, exactly. No, no, no. I think Elliot's an exceptional player, coach, lovely guy. Um, I, I, I can't think of a chalice game I've seen him in where I've seen more than sort of ninety percent of what I expect from Elliot, maybe. Yeah, just maybe playing a bit scared to lose rather than going for the win. Maybe so. Which is why that go for it over the line for the one he did score um, I really liked because yeah. that's the sort of thing I might have expected him to maybe not do yeah because that that, that hit with needing a needing a pow is like 30% isn't it you're sticking a reroll yeah. you're about 50% and then um, and so obviously you're much better off just doing the 2 plus yourself yeah. aren't you yeah much much better but it's yeah. you've got to have the courage rather than you know hoping for a fail which is a lot yeah. easier to do psychologically yeah, so it's it's harder to yeah you're putting it on yourself and then you don't get to dice wine, which is why I prefer the other way. <laughs> <laughs> wow! All right. 
Uh, yeah, I did not like the red dice. That was that was weird. And Ducky didn't even make it too hard for him. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, three plus, two plus, two plus, and then a two plus handoff, three plus throw, two plus catch. That's not tricky with a reroll in hand and some skill rolls. It's a, he didn't you know, even cover get uh, anyone in the, the way for the intercept. Like the edgy man could have been on the other side and maybe got an intercept somewhere. Yeah, like I said, I really didn't like marching and marking the witch. We all thought that was a bit irrelevant, whereas you could have marked the ball, which at least put more two pluses in the chain, or as I said, meant they had to dodge out backwards, which was even harder to get where I wanted. We had our six rerolls to use, which we still didn't use. <laughs> but it was enough because, yes, Elliot decided a red dice um, was the way to start the most important turn. And... I've just realised Ducky had like 11 rerolls for that game and didn't use one. <laughs> <laughs> Proed like a pro, though, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he made lots of pros, yeah. That's a crazy stat, though. Yeah, he made 15 pros, and, uh, and yeah. Ten. I'm pretty some sure of those, he didn't use a team reroll. Some of those worked, but then still failed on the dice rolls. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, you can reroll, but not get anything better, can't you? The um, interesting to watch back uh, Elliot's stream, actually, and see what he says about uh, some of those decisions. Yeah. See his thought processes, see how he um, justifies it, or, or what have you. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> There's chaos that he He didn't use the bribe. I don't know. You know, maybe he made some fouls that he wouldn't have made without a bribe. So, you know, that's. Especially it's like the Turner 8 foul, he probably wouldn't have done without a bribe. Yeah, for sure. Yes, it, it's liberating, isn't it? I mean, I know they do fail, but it just means you think, okay. And you can complain, oh, but he never got caught for a foul. Well, you know, when you don't and you've got a bribe, of course they're going to keep doing it. It is one of the outcomes when you've got that situation in someone's exactly. you know, that someone's got is they can keep doing that. So, again, I, I thought the second half was just not the tactics I would have chosen. No, for sure. Right, well, that's it. Um, congratulations, Ducky. Commiserations, Elliot. Thank you very much for this, this stellar cast of uh, Flicky, Muppet and PC. Absolutely glorious. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.